most people, it's fair enough to say that that diversity is a demographic characteristic. It's a statement about the numerical mix of people in a group with respect to some characteristic. And in our settings, most commonly, that conversation is about race, gender, ethnicity. But of course, there are all sorts of other issues as well, other dimensions of diversity from religion, uh, age, uh, national origin, uh, sexual orientation, gender identity, and so on. But you also have intellectual diversity, you have diversity of faculty, and in the College of Education I really try and think of diversity in its broadest sense. For the health of the college, for the health of any unit, I think diversity really uh, allows it to thrive. Diversity is about bringing together the different capabilities, aspects, and, and strengths of a large number of individuals who come from different backgrounds and, and different upbringings to help us get viewpoints and insights that we wouldn't normally get without that strength of a team. It extends certainly to diversity of thought and diversity of, of action on our campuses, so I think that diversity is extremely important, and I've always said that if if uh, everyone on this campus were like me, it would be a really boring place and we would come up with really uninspired and uncreative kinds of solutions to our problems. So I think it takes people from all backgrounds to uh, help us realize our dreams and our goals and our ambitions here at North Carolina State. Well, diversity is a lot of things. It's, it's diversity of backgrounds that people come from. It could be their ethnicity. It could be the experiences they have. Um, diversity is something that's really important to have so that you can get all kinds of different points of view. D diversity is about variety. Uh, variety is, um, is about thinking not only in the sense of, of age, race, sex, uh, those things, but it's thinking about um, you know, what does somebody bring, in our case, to the workplace. It's all about creating a place that people can excel and feel comfortable and feel safe. All of those things are terribly critical to a person being productive. Well, you know, the word diversity, of course, you know, I guess it's defined officially as just a very big variety of, you know, having a lot of variety. But for me, it really means inclusiveness. Uh, in other words, the action step. It, it means, you know, really an active role that is played in order to assure that you have the voices at the table, the perspectives on the table that are ultimately going to allow you to really make uh, the, the very best decisions. Respecting and, and valuing the varying and different perspectives of others. It's really the uh, intersection of how individuals see each other, engage with one another, respect one another, and learn from each other. value diversity, you just have to incorporate it into part of everything you do. So our unit has diversity as part of our strategic plan and it's definitely a part of um, the hiring that we do. We always have it in mind when we're, when we're hiring. But also as we plan activities, making sure that committees have a diverse um, background on them and workshops and other things like that. I think that as leaders of a university, we have to show support for diversity, for cultural differences, for people of all walks of life on campus. And so to the extent that I have the time and I'm able, I like to, to support groups on our campus. It's not just enough to be tolerant, but it, it, it should be an embrace of diversity that allows us all to grow in this culture and in this university. When I arrived here, it's almost seven years ago now, I was really struck by the lack of, of women faculty, for example, in our College of Engineering. I told the folks here in the college, I said it was almost shameful that in a college that had 230 or 40 tenure track faculty, there were maybe less than 10 women in the faculty. And, you know, I could make that statement if I left it at that, you know, it wouldn't really mean much. But we had to translate that into very active efforts to recruit, you know, more women faculty into our college, as an example. And, and, you know, we double the number of women in one year, not a big deal, because by hiring seven, we doubled the number of women in one year, so we still had to work more. But it wasn't just for the sake of having more women in the college, it was because we were really missing something by not having that critical mass. We had departments that didn't have that diversity, 
it wasn't reflected well in the way we communicated with our students. There's no way that we were going to achieve our potential as a college without having you know, a much more representative set of individuals on our faculty. We have a, a, a committee on diversity in the college. A couple of years ago, the committee came to me and said, we would like to, this year, and every year sort of setting an agenda, the diversity committee decided that they wanted to address the um, uh, GLBT issues. This year, um, the diversity committee that we have in the college is actually focusing on internationalization. Well, I think we try to consciously bring together in the classroom, as well as in the faculty and staff, uh, uh, bring together team teams uh, who bring their varying perspectives and values to the table. Uh, and so we do this very consciously within the context of the classroom. We're constantly bringing teams of students together. Uh, we organize those teams so that they are not homogeneous, but they're quite heterogeneous. Uh, and we really try to have students work within different cultures, uh, within different genders, uh, within different racial mixes, uh, so they understand uh, that the world doesn't look exactly like they see through their own mindset, that they have to adapt. And similarly, we try to do that within the context of the faculty and staff, whether it's in search committees or other activities. We're, we're always trying to bring people together who have varying perspectives and utilize those varying perspectives for the basic good of the college. An institutionalization and an investment by the provost of programming that derived from an advance, NSF advance grant uh, a couple of mm -hmm. years ago. We've got future faculty programs, we've got CHAMPS, which aims at uh, bringing in, uh, diversifying the student, the student body. We've got an African American cultural center, we've got a women's center, we've got a GLBT center, and so on. And those are all tangible evidence of investments that uh, demonstrate that the commitment is is real. We also, at the other end, uh, do climate studies to keep tabs on on how we're doing in this domain. We do our best to make sure we have a diverse talent pool. We reach out to uh, all types of individuals and we make sure to use their skill sets and their capabilities in the best ways possible to bring the strength to the team. Uh, we have a large number of uh, female leaders in our program. We have a large diverse population of uh, both gender, ethnicity, uh, cultural backgrounds and uh, capabilities and we find that, that makes a great team. Our values, uh, our core values include integrity, uh, excellence and respect. And our belief is that if you, if you first don't start with respect of the individuals that are in your organization you'll never ever be able to create a, a, a culture of, of support and uh, which makes diverse uh, workers feel comfortable. When we have a position open and we're going to be mounting a, uh, an, inter an interview campaign or a search for a, for a new person, we always bring in the, the uh, Equal Opportunity Office and the Office of uh, Institutional Equity and Equity and Diversity officials to, to essentially work with our search committee to make sure that we are adhering to uh, principles of good practice with respect to uh, searches so that we can maximize um, you know, who we get in our interview pools for our, for our jobs. We have actually included uh, in our strategic plan a statement that we will work with our colleagues across the university to strengthen uh, inclusion and diversity within the Division of Academic and Student Affairs. And that will ultimately lead to the development of a, an inclusion and diversity committee within the, the Division of Academic and Student Affairs later this year. We piloted something called the 360. Uh, and it, it, it involved every employee and allowed them to be in, a, in, a, in an arrangement where they could uh, speak uh, their observations on a lot of issues related particularly to their management and 
Uh, this was done in a way that, that didn't put them in a threatening situation or whatever. And it really allowed a lot of information to be gathered about how the organization worked. It allowed a lot of feedback uh, to supervisors in this particular case. And it actually won a national award. Hiring faculty is one area where we have made tremendous strides in the college to address uh, our own diversity agenda and the diversity challenges we face in higher education. And we've really worked hard to create an environment that supports faculty from diverse backgrounds in all areas of diversity, but especially in our underrepresented minority groups. One of the areas that we've worked really hard but have been less successful is in recruiting diverse students for, especially at the undergraduate level. We have a diversity coordinator in the college who also works with a recruitment officer. We participate very uh, closely on the Building uh, Future Faculty program and recruiting potential future doctoral students who will then assume their own roles in, in higher education. Schema, our French business school on campus, has helped us significantly in bringing their views here to pool. Our M100 class has now engaged in what we call student network groups. We try to really have students understand that no matter how they see the world, we have to always challenge ourselves to see the world differently and then respect and value how other individuals see the world. I started uh, attending early meetings of all faculty search committee to bring, if you will, discipline specific and actionable suggestions on how in fact do you diversify the pool. I can actually put names on the table of people who are from underrepresented groups in the fields that they're trying to recruit and uh, it's the wonder of the World Wide Web that makes it possible to do that. In more recent years, I've added to that pool building conversation uh, some introduction to the literature on implicit bias. So to foster diversity, we, we do our best by a, a lot of different training. Um, we have a number of workshops that we've done with both uh, all levels of our staff uh, on ways to improve working together, uh, culture, camaraderie, and all those things. There's two th main things that I've done to foster diversity in my unit. One of them is in hiring to always ensure that we are looking at a diverse pool and taking that into consideration. But the other thing is is to um, promote people within and retain them and make sure that they get the professional development to make sure that they're moving forward and becoming all they can be. To really be very clear and active about the need to assure that this is part of the things that we're looking for when we're talking about growing our faculty, when we're talking about our staff, when we're talking about our students at all levels. The reason is not necessarily because it's socially or whatever ethically a good thing to do that's important, but the reality is we're not going to be uh, who we should be as an organization, as a college, unless we really do this. right. been on the board of GEM uh, for the last three years. I just stepped off last year. GEM is graduate education for minorities. We've utilized diversity a lot in our hiring this year, um, especially um, OIED is always part of um, searches. This year has been the faculty excellence clusters where there's been many searches going on and they've played an integral role in making sure that all of the search committees have um, the proper knowledge of what they need to consider about diversity as they move forward. We do certainly encourage uh, and have a lot of participation in workshops across the campus. Um, we do uh, training for my direct staff and then subsequent down, um, which carries out programs that again are uh, holistic in what we do. And so it talks about the differences that we have in how IT people think, what our culture is, what we're doing to make the environment a, a warm and friendly place as well as a good environment and a fair environment. I have been involved in the uh, Respect the PAC program two years in a row uh, at the beginning of the uh, semester and beginning of the academic year. And I've also been involved during Diversity Week, particularly at the Ally uh, rallies, uh, speaking to uh, 
students, faculty and staff on the Brickyard about the importance of diversity uh, in all of its forms. I do think it's, it's quite important uh, to constantly uh, bring to the table and remind both ourselves, myself personally, uh, as well as our faculty and staff uh, that they, they, they cannot just take things for granted. Well, this, this year I attended my first Lavender graduation and hope I will always continue to go to the Lavender uh, graduations. Our students need to know that there is a place for every student at this university. And so the more we can do to provide those spaces and to provide especially those safe spaces for them, I think the better. I've, I've attended several of these uh, opportunities. Uh, both because it helps me learn about myself and learn about about those programs, but uh, candidly I think it's important for people in leadership positions to be seen at those sorts of workshops to demonstrate uh, how important diversity is as a university priority.